Hello there, YouTube, and welcome back to part three of my Earthbound Let's Play. Alright, so in the last episode, we beat Frank and the Shark Gang and moved on to Giant Step. Alright, let's continue on. So, uh, oh, right down there, there's a ton of enemies. Uh, might as well show them off. And these are probably going to be attack slugs, I believe. Yep, okay. So, attack slugs are pretty much one of the weakest enemies in the game. You can one-shot them every time, and they do like three, 2 to 3 HP every time you hit them. Every they hit you, so... Their PSI attacks never work either, so it's kind of just like waiting for them to hurry up and let you attack. Like, you see that they've used hypnosis three times now. I haven't been hit by it once yet, so... Yeah, these guys are pretty easy. Don't worry about attack slugs. And we're level 7. Awesome. Vitality went up by 1, so 13 HP. Sweet. Yeah, Vitality is a stat you really want to have upgraded a lot in this game. <coughs> and Rowdy Mouse, alright. Oh, and there gets the of course. Come on. Let me take him out. Come on, game. Okay, he's done. Alrighty. Now, and another Rowdy Mouse. Oh goody! I can tell these guys are gonna get annoying really fast. Ow. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna heal after this, cause that took a lot of HP. Um, let's do PSI. I see there's another one over there. Let's just do PSI life up. And let's try and scroll him off screen. Yeah, that's another feature in this game, is you can scroll enemies off screen. Oh, crap. Well, that was silly of me. I went a little bit too far away, apparently. Let's see if I can end him before I can get a smash. Sweet. Oh, we're smashing him. Get taste your own medicine, jerk. Alright. Now, this is probably going to count as a spoiler, but uh, I would suggest getting to le at least level 8 before you... Oh, this is an empty room, I remember. Uh, I would suggest getting to level 8 before you take on the boss of this area, because you get a special ability at level 8 that assists a lot. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna take out this Rowdy Mouse. Yeah, uh, these guys are pretty annoying. Uh, okay, he's done. Again, I got a smash on him, so it's a taste of his own medicine. If for some reason I'm not at level 8 by the time I get to the boss, I'll probably just, uh, grind off screen to get to level 8, and then show it. Oh, black antoids. Okay, these guys are really annoying. I think I went over these in the last episode, but... Yeah, they're not fun. As you see, they do, they do a lot of damage. Oh, come on, church. Don't use life up. You just need to die. It's a part of the, the plan of the world. Okay. I guess I'm fighting these guys. These are more anti than me. Oh, good. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Well. <clears throat> yeah, I just died. Uh. This is embarrassing. Well, I'll be right back when I get back to the point we're at. Okay, I'm back to roughly the same spot we're at when I unfortunately died, so, uh, yeah, that was really embarrassing. I uh, hope we don't have to do anything about that again, but, uh, yeah, I completely got- I went and got healed up after I died, because, uh, for future reference, uh, after you die, you- when you come back, you have full health, but you do not have any PP. So, yeah, I'm, this is kind of silly what's happening right now. I'm getting beaten up by a bunch of attack- Whoa, I didn't kill an attack slug in one hit. What the heck? They're cheating. Oh no, he's dead, so it's okay. Okay, he's dead now too, and... That's some, look how much damage I just took from that. Like, 30 damage. Oh, level 8. Yes, this is what I wanted. Okay, so, uh... <clears throat> right here, we'll be getting our next move right here. PSI Rockin'. That's what we named, uh, that's our favorite thing we named as at the beginning. That's our, like, our, our trademark move, if you will. Okay, let's, uh, let's eat one of these hamburgers, because I'm really low on health. Okay. And move this 
way and an Antoid. Oh no, attack slugs are cool. I'm fine with that. You see right there, our offense is much higher now. We're doing 40 damage per hit. Before, we were doing about 30-ish. And now they're only doing one damage to us. So that level up helped us a lot right there. Anything in here? A rowdy mouse guarding a present. Alright, well, we're gonna have to kick this guy's butt in and then get that present. Not missed. Missed twice, and I missed. And I jinxed myself there, so I kinda deserve that. Alrighty. Let's see. Open up this present. And cold remedy. Okay, that's gonna be useful for later when we get to another another part of the game. That'll heal the status affection of a flu. Look at all those enemies. I'm just gonna try and scroll these guys off screen because that's a lot of enemies. I don't want to deal with them. Alright, and those are Roddy Mouse. Great. And there's just as many enemies as before. Holy crap! Look how many just ran at me. Oh wow, six of them. Oh, this is gonna be bad. At least they're not doing the 3 HP they were doing before, because I would have lost 18 HP from every single one that hit me. Well, not every single one, but like when they all hit me, I would have lost 18 HP. Well, this is just going to be a little bit of a waiting. Waiting for them to hurry up and just make their moves. Smash, suck it. These guys are actually doing an annoying amount of damage. See, they're not lethal, they just. They're lethal in groups, more than anything, but. We're okay at this point, I'd say. Okay, I took out a good portion of them. There's still this one. Okay, let's uh... Let's focus on the black antoid. Uh... The calling for help feature is one of the most annoying features in this game to me. But uh... Not much I can do. Yeah, they only use life up on themselves pretty much, so... Just take out the ones that use life up a lot, and you'll be fine. And we're level 9. Vitality 1, so that's gonna be like a 13 HP boost. 12, okay. That's pretty close. Still a lot of HP. And more enemies. Oh! Yes, okay, that's, uh... That shows that we're powerful enough that the game just assumes that we're gonna beat them in one hit so anyway, so it doesn't matter. And now we're outside. Alright, um... I was hoping for something else. Hold on. I'm gonna come back, come back out after this because there's something I wanted to, to spawn, to, so I could use it. But I don't think it's gonna happen. I'll try one more time. I don't know if that's actually a thing or I just got lucky when I was playing this through by myself. Yeah, I think that was just luck. Okay, so yeah, let's go for this present right here. And there's a hamburger inside. Okay. Now we're gonna head up this way through this tunnel. And there's monsters right there. Two black androids. All right. Well, I'm gonna bash you. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to use some PP after this to heal ourselves. If we're not gonna eat it, I think I might be able to eat a hamburger, but we'll set the scene. Okay, this is getting annoying. You see that right there? They just called for help twice, and it worked twice. Okay, good. Cause I was gonna get mad if that happened again. And now it's healed itself. Oh, but it doesn't matter, because I smashed you to next week, buddy. And a cookie. I'll probably just eat that right now. First, okay, let's see our let's see our status. So we have 90 HP total. Let's just uh oop, let's go darn it. Let's eat that cookie. And let's eat a hamburger too. Alrighty. Climb up this ladder. Rope, rather. Come to this next one. 
And right here you'll see we have the boss of this place. Sorry for the cut there, I got interrupted. Alright, anyways, um... Yeah, here we have the Titanic Ant boss. Let's talk to him. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Yep, here we have the Titanic Ant, and he's got two uh, black androids behind him that will heal him. So, uh, I would suggest... This is something you want to do pretty much every time, is make sure you have Rocket, of course, so it'll be at least level 8, and you want to lead off with PSI Rocket every time. And do tons of damage to him and take out both of his comrades. And he can't call for help. That's just one of his features. Okay. I'm just going to lead off with a bash, too. I'm hoping not to have to use PSI Rocket again. Okay, I'm going to want to eat another hamburger right here. Defense down now. Oh, I got some HP. All right, let's uh, let's do one more rocking. Ooh, this is bad. He's just uh, okay. Good, you can't do it anymore. So we're trying to. Okay, good. So he's taking HP. No, I can't use any more PSI. That's great. Oh, that doesn't matter because I. <laughs> I guess I beat him. And then we got a lot of HP. Sweet. And we got healing alpha, that will heal status conditions. Life up will give you health, that will heal status conditions. And then here we have the giant set, but I'm gonna be quiet for this part. I love the music in this part. This music is amazing. The music in this game is amazing as a whole. Alright, now, let's move on. Now, they've added a nice feature in this game where, uh, after you defeat the boss of an area, all the enemies will flee from you. So it makes, you see right there, he just, he's trying to run away. Uh, that will give us, it'll make this, uh, time getting out of here a lot easier on us. Yep, see, look, I'm running away in fear. Like little wusses they are. Is there anything over here? No, there's nothing. Alright. Outside. I'm back in the next step. Of giant step. Watch them all flee from the mighty Ness. Look at them run. You fear me. I destroyed your master, now I'm your master. Run! Be gone! Alrighty, we're just about done in here. And we head out, and we're greeted by a police officer. Hey you, the board says do not enter, couldn't you read it? Uh, yeah, of course I could. So you just didn't want to read the sign, huh kid? Get your butt to the other police station later. Alright, so, uh, you notice he didn't take you there? You actually need to go there, or you can't advance in the story, so, uh, it may have sounded optional, but it's not. You want to go to, you have to go to the police station. Alrighty. Now, I'm warning you, this, the police station, what we're doing in the police station is we're gonna have to fight five enemies in a row, so I would suggest equipping a lot of healing items and being at full health and PP after, before you go there, so, uh, I'm gonna cut it here and get get myself ready to go to the police station. Okay, so I've geared up and I have been healed full right here, as you can see. And I uh, wish my gear in case you want to see lots of hamburgers, because uh, hamburgers are really good this early in the game. And uh, yeah, this is probably one of the hardest boss fights, so I'd suggest saving before you fight this guy. All right. Why is Road to Tucson closed in emergency? Of course, at times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Uh, yeah. Okay, Chortle, follow me. I don't think this is going to take us to Tucson. I don't think Tucson is through the police building, but uh, that's just me. And there's a bunch of police officers in here. Show me what you got. <clears throat> See if you can get past five of my best men. Oh, great. Yep, yeah, so you need to fight five people in a row. This is a very hard boss fight. I usually take 
takes me a couple tries at this, I'll play it well on this one. And there's no breaks, by the way. You have to fight them all in a row, no breaks, no stops. You just have to power through it. And with the next guy. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Ooh, 30 HP right there. Okay, so, uh... We're definitely gonna want to heal right here. Uh, let's eat a hamburger. And he missed. Good. And we got a smash on him. Awesome. I really hope he gets smashes when we finally get to... The commissioner there on the right. Or the police chief, rather. Fat boy? You look pretty fat in your freaking sprite. I'm not fat. Jeez, what a jerk. Why are the cops so angry? Oh, come on. These crushing chops are getting a little bit unfair. Oh, I guess he's dead now, so... Nuclear suplex attack, okay. Okay, this guy, uh... You actually do not have to fight the fifth guy, he'll just bring you right to the boss, so, uh... You won't do any healing... ...with this guy. Okay, good, nice dodge. Didn't dodge that one, though. Faster than these guys. Why does it give me smashes when I'm gonna kill them anyways? A hamburger, okay. Well, that makes up for some of those hamburgers we used. You see right here? That's it, buddy. You forget about me, I'm gonna call my boss. Yep, and now we get to face this guy. There's no way I can beat you in a straight up competition, so get ready for my super ultra membo tango fox shot martial arts. That's certainly an interesting thing to call it. Ow. That's hurt. That's gonna hurt. Okay, let's do, uh... Let's do PSI rockin'. Let me take him out. And... Good thing he missed, because that's, uh... That's his most powerful move, in case you didn't know. Uh... Let's eat a burger. Oh, eat it! Eat it, eat it, eat it! Oh, right there, you see, uh... An example of these scrolling... Oh wait, this scrolling health bar is really good for you. Uh, let's do life up alpha. Okay, you give us a free turn to heal ourselves. I think we're gonna save our last ten. Ooh, yes, we didn't even have to. That's exactly what I was hoping for, was a smash deck right near the end. And we're never, now level 11, sweet. Oh, Vitality up by one, so a bunch more HP and PP! <clears throat> I didn't think you'd be do so well against the Mighty Onet police force. You mean to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a second, I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep beep, click, Arr. click. Strong here, do you read me? Arr. Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in red cap. I want you to open the road to Net Tucson for him. I know that. I know that! Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not gonna question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Alright, so it seems we've gained the respect of the police force now that we've beaten them. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, that was actually my first try, so... That worked out pretty well for me. Alrighty. And we will finally get to move on to Tucson now. There's just police officers, let's just walk past them, who cares? Look at those enemies flee from us. They fear our unlimited power. Oh, these guys are dangerous. Rambling and mushrooms, you want to take these guys out as fast as possible. Oh, there it is right there. Ah. Uh, so we just got the feeling strange effect, and uh... This is a pretty annoying effect. Uh, you see right there, there's a mushroom on our head? Uh, every once in a while in the field, this will completely change our controls. So you'll probably notice it pretty soon, but uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to it. So we want to head straight for the hospital. And we can actually make money off this at the hospital. Okay, so walking down the road. Do -do -do, waiting for it to switch my controls. Of course, now it's not going to switch my controls. But uh, it's, it's extremely annoying. Talk to this guy really quick. 
Though you may not believe I'm a healer. If you have some illness, I cannot be treated at the hospital. It's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I know it, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's take a deal. Yeah, so he'll give you $50 for your illness, basically. Oh, no, I just accidentally... No, I don't need to be healed by anything. Um, I'm fine. Okay. So let's head back down the path. Hopefully not get... Not feel strange again with that mushroom thing. And let's hopefully get to Tucson. Get out of the way. Okay, so... Okay, so, um, we have this present. Amber inside, sweet. And head down the road more. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I like following the path in this game. Mostly because I have to, because I'll get lost otherwise. Go ahead through here. And we are now in Tucson. Alrighty. As you can see on the map. Tucson! Okay, so... I think that's enough progress for this episode. So, next time on Earthbound, we will explore more of Tucson and find out what's going on here. Alright, see you guys then.